good money for that your kids have lost interest in after a couple of hours. So for them, the fun is over. But now, with Playmobil Little People, the fun never ends. That's because they have movable bodies, lots of click-on accessories, and a whole world of kids' imagination to run on, and on, and on. Playmobil Little People, the fun never ends. All right, today I wanted to take a look at the classic toy line, Playmobil. Now, Playmobil was originally invented by the German inventor Hans Beck, who developed the series from 1971 to 1974. He wanted to come up with a universal toy that all kids could immediately familiarize themselves with and came up with the Playmobil one and a half inch figure. It was rigid, but flexible enough to where you could still put it in many different situations and scenarios and was easily accepted by most kids of all ages. The first set came out in 1974 and there were the Construction, Indians, and Knights set that was released in Germany with ads preparing the Playmobil advertisement as calling them clicky because they had little different pieces and accessories that snapped into their hands and clicked. You could buy them in the box sets as well as in individual packs of two with lots of different accessories. In 1974 they were prepped for the Dutch World Toy Fair and they immediately became a hit. Before long they hit toy store shelves all over worldwide with the first series being the Playmobil Night Series, the Playmobil Construction Series, and the Playmobil Pirates and Sea Set Series. Even today, Playmobil toys are still popular around the world and a favorite by many. Alright, now let's take a look at some of the Playmobil figures I have here, as well as this 1989 Indian Playmobil playset. As you can see, there's a lot going on immediately with the campfire in the middle and the Indian chief talking with Indians from another local tribe. You have an Indian scout riding along at his canoe, and if we lift up the flap on the teepee here, we can see an Indian family living inside of their humble little hut. And you have a, a doctor or a townsperson who has come to visit the town village, and the other scouts with their uh, headdresses and shields and canoes and just there's a lot of action going on in here and that's the overall appeal with the Playmobil toys. They're really simple and easy um, to grasp the concept with not a lot of complicated parts and there's just a lot of uh, you know different environments and accessories that you can put them in and they're really fun to play with. Um, these are some of the original uh, Playmobiles uh, figures here, and they all have the year 1974 stamped on the bottom, but the difference that you can tell between those and later variants of Playmobil figures is that their hands and arms are one solid piece. With any Playmobil figures after that, you could actually turn uh, hands, but these are completely solid. Also, a lot of the accessories, like the feather in the top here, is a completely hard plastic and you'll find that most of their accessories are made of a much more brittle plastic. Um, they do look a little bit different, but I think they're still pretty neat. As you can see here, the Indian um, Chief is also one of the original 1974 uh, Playmobil Indians from uh, this playset. And I think he looks really good. He's got his headset on. And uh, he is using a uh, staff from the 1989 set, but still looks pretty good. And, you know, they're interchangeable. That's pretty cool, too. They have the bracelets on and everything. And, you know, just look really good. And this is the canoe. This is also from the uh, 74 um, playset. And the difference with that is a lot of the uh, buildings and vehicles had stickers instead of just being painted on. So it kind of gives them a different look. Uh, to them, which I think looks a lot better, honestly, than the uh, the newer ones, but they still look just as good. Now let's take a look at some of the more newer Playmobil figures. These are figures from 1989, like I said before. 
And um, as you can see, they're extremely colorful. Not to say that the older ones weren't, but um, in this set in particular, there's a lot of color going on in the shirt and the shield, um, the face paint, and as you can see here in a moment, um, the feather on top of his headdress is completely flexible. It's not brittle at all. So that's one way that you can tell whether or not you have an original or a later issue of the Playmobil. Um, but I think that looks really, really cool with all the detail that went into the uh, shirt and the face ma uh, markings and everything. Again, here you have another um, Na uh, Native American with his headdress. And it looks like he might be trading some spices or like wines with the uh, other tribe. And just really cool with the overall um, outfits and garments and everything. There's a lot of detail that went into this. And here you have another one from the same tribe. He looks like he might be a craftsman. He has the hammer and has uh, another satchel of uh, goods or food or whatever that he's carrying. And alrighty, now let's move on to this guy. This, I think he's supposed to be a doctor. I'm not really sure if he goes with this set or not, but it looks like he has like a medicine bag. Uh, he has a necktie on for some reason, so I don't really know if he goes with this set or not. I'm not sure, but uh, still looks pretty cool. And, um, you know, like I said, the neat thing with the Playmobiles is that they have a lot of different little accessories that snap into their hands. And, you know, you really get a lot of playtime out of these. Like, I, I had this original, uh, the 74 playset when I was a kid, and I remember having lots of fun with it. Um, this is the uh, the horses. He's missing a saddle but, uh, that you can put all of the figures on and, you know, pretend they're riding into town and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I really do think that the Playmobil sets are really neat and there's a lot of character to them. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the Playmobil line of toys with me this week, and I will see you guys back here next time. Take care. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you do the Facebook or Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag Retro. See you next time.